Hello, Divination, and welcome. So, Happy New Year to everyone. This is our first live stream in 2019, and I am glad to be back. Uh, if you can hear me loud and clear, please let me know in the comments box below before we continue. Okay, please let me know if you can hear me loud and clear. Fantastic. Looks like uh, the sound is loud and clear. All right, so uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, this is our first DB Feature Lab uh, update live for 2019, and I'm glad to be back. Today, we are taking a look at the incredible new DV quick action. So this will incredibly increase your, uh, your workflow speed, uh, your workflow speed, and you will be able to find things very easy as you're um, designing your pages. And this is what I'll be going through today. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to say to uh, everyone uh, that is just joining us, thank you very much for joining us. It's fantastic. I can see here the... Um, the, the channel is, I mean, there's about 56 of you on uh, YouTube, which is fantastic. And also, we are live streaming on Facebook. So, if you're on Facebook, um, yes, I can see here that Facebook is working fine. All right, so it's great. Let's get started. Let's talk about the quick actions. Okay, so the quick actions really is a robust search tool. So, you are able to activate the quick actions and then search for whatever... Uh, options or or whatever you need to do in this quick action. So it's very, very fast. You can locate and navigate margins, rows, sections. You can even input, uh, you can even add new modules onto your page. So it's really, really exciting. It's really, really fast. So um, in a moment, I'll be going in and showing you how this actually works. Right. So we have uh, quite a lot of you here joining us from all over the world. We have Matthew from, from uh, Banbury. Now, is, is this Banbury from the UK or this is different? Because I can see here you started off by saying bonjour. So I'm a bit confused there. But I know there is a place called Banbury over here in the UK. All right. So there's also Hassan from uh, Espana, uh, Mako, I think, Tadius, uh, Gaio, Kim. Uh, we also have Pietro from uh, Italy. Fantastic. We also have um, Maria from Milan. <laughs> Great to see you all. Um, let's take a look here. We have, uh, now I might not be able to pronounce some of these names, so please forgive me for that. Uh, we have Yasrolov, I think, from Ukraine. Anders from Sweden. Uh, TSB from Singapore. <laughs> That's amazing, amazing. Right, the names are coming in fast. Ritesh from India. Matthew from, uh, oh, Matthew says ironic. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's to uh, Banbury, I think. Okay, Fabio from Brazil, David, uh, David Reed, awesome. Right, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go over here to my, um, to my other screen. And, uh, okay, we have Valdemir from, uh, from Croatia, and Hassan says, uh, Happy New Year, Happy New Year to you. Right, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to switch over now to my desktop and show you how these quick actions work. Okay, so right, let's take a look here. Okay, um, so over here I have my uh, DB web uh, DB website uh, opened. So in order for you to use, in fact, before I mention how to use this, um, you need to update to the latest DV. Uh, update. Okay, make sure you're running the latest DV in order for you to get this update. Right, so to in order for you to access the um, uh, this feature update, what you want to do is to make sure that you are in the Divi Builder. So make sure you've enabled uh, the Divi Builder. So once you've enabled it, uh, here's the manual way of getting to it. So you click here on Expand Settings on the bottom here, and then over here on the right, you'll notice this search uh, this search icon. So when you click that, this is the new Divi Quick Actions. Okay. So as you can see, while we're on this page, we have uh, some uh, some items here which gives us an idea of what we can do. So we have insert, layout, view, page, builder, go to, help, open, and so on. So I want to start off by just doing something basic here. So I'm going to click on, uh, let's say, insert. 
Okay, then over here now we have options to insert layout, row, module, and so on. Okay, so I'm just going to click here on insert. And then now I can specify what I need to insert. So let's say um, video. And now as, just, uh, as I'm typing this, you can see it's filling in and giving me options on the bottom there. So it narrows down everything. So insert, let's say video module okay now here's what happens when you click on insert video module you get this button here i'm not sure if you can see this on the live but there's a button here with uh, my mouse pointer uh, now has this plus button and i can now scroll through my page and point to the area where i need to add my video module okay so let's say i want to add it here all i have to do is to just specifically go to the place and then just click on it okay so let's do this one more time in fact i've just clicked on it i'm just going to close that and let me delete that okay let's do it one more time so i'm going to come to the bottom here click on this search tool and then i'm going to click on insert video okay video uh video module okay so now we have this plus okay so you can scroll to whatever part of the page you want and this and then you'll be able to just click and this will take you directly onto whatever whatever it is you need to um, add it so right now i'm here on um on my main module so i'm just going to click this plus button and notice what happens as soon as i click it inserts the um uh, the dv module the video module and then as normal, you can just go in now and start making your changes. So you can come over here, click on overlay, maybe add an image overlay. So let's say I'm going to add this here. And now you can continue making 